From the first day I saw him in training, I thought, wow, what a player he could finish. Um, live for scoring goals. Rude. Yeah, Rude was sick. To come in and do what he did at Manchester United was phenomenal. Unbelievable goal scorer. Probably one of the best, alongside Dolly, I've worked with. Phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, we've seen so many great centre forwards over the, year, over the years, but listen, he was one of the very best. Big, powerful, wanted the ball, would run at people, wanted them headers, wanted people to cross it to him. Out and out, striker, one of the best strikers I've seen here, Webby. Obviously, it didn't work out the year before. Obviously, went back to PS3, done his name. But the club always kept contact with Ferguson and said, once you're ready, we'll come back for you. And he held to I, his I words. Remember, yeah. He come back, you know, you're looking what a striker with his goals he scored. It was a predator. You know, I remember his, his, his debut here against Fulham, two goals in the 3-2 victory. You know, unbelievable. Took the ball in one of them games. Oh, right Tony, from the halfway line. And that just, was a Fulham game. That was, was that and that, it was game? an hat-trick he got that game. Uh, he turned the ball. I think it was voted goal of the season, strength, power, everything you, you, you want in a striker. What was it like to play with Ruth Van Nistelrooy, Paul? Brilliant, um, brilliant centre forward, ruthless. Um, from the first day I saw him in training, I thought, wow, what a player he could finish. Um, lived for scoring goals. I had a really good partnership with him, actually, for a, for a year or so, I think, when I played, played virtually up front with him. Uh, probably the best season I had. Um, yeah, I loved it. Great player, great lad. If you could pick a Ruud van Nistelrooy now, it'd answer all our problems we've got within the club because Ruud van Nistelrooy was an out-and-out -out predator, out-and-out -out goal scorer, he and I loved him. He just wanted the ball, didn't he, all the time? I think he's something like, I think he scored one or two goals outside the box, the rest were in. That's what you want. Yeah, yeah. You know, I hate to say this, but you look at the... 150 goals. 150 goals in, what was it, 219 appearances? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Unbelievable, and you can <coughs> look at people and then back the penalty against Arsenal at the bar, and everyone's jumping on him, and a year later, we get to the penalty. And you see the emotion when he sends Lehman the wrong way, sliding next to the microphone. Yeah. You can hear all the anguish he's had in his body for yeah, the year. Yeah, yeah. That's how much he, he, he meant to the club. He was loved by the fans. And Ruud van Nistelrooy is the best striker I've seen at Old Trafford Tona. Can you tell us what Ruud was like to share the dressing room with? Ruud. Yeah, Ruud was sick. Ruud was an uh, out-and-out goal scorer. Wanted to win, had a little bit of aggression about him as well. Um, but you knew if he's on your team that day and he's fit, we're scoring today. Or we're pretty much scoring because he was one of the top players that I played with. He's got to be in the top three. Yes. But I, I, I just love him because he, he, it's what we grew up with. You know, a striker, someone who wanted the ball. But he didn't have, I just loved him when he, when he had his back to the goal because he just shrugged them off when he turned and, he, and, and when he run through. He's running through for them crosses. He was perfect for anyone out wide, yeah. you know. Oh, it must have been a dream as a winger to play with him. Yeah, because you, just, you dream. just put it in. Yeah. And, and he knew, and the winger knew, and it was just like, give him the ball. My only regret about Ruud van Nistelrooy, he wasn't here long enough. David, your last appearance for, you, for United versus Burnley, Ruud van Nistelrooy started up front. Could you tell us your memories of the Dutch striker here at United? Uh, phenomenal goal scorer. We, know, we all know that. Um, I think he only ever scored one goal outside the box. That's what sort of predator he was. Um, he came here, reputation, obviously he'd just done his cruise shit as well. I just had done, got back from that. But to come in and do what he did at Manchester United was phenomenal. Unbelievable goal scorer. Probably one of the best, alongside Dolly, I've worked with. Phenomenal. I remember the European game here where he scored. He, threw, he took his shirt off and he threw it into the crowd. And you looked at the bench there, he didn't have a spare one. He had to go back into the crowd and ask the person who had caught it, could they have the shirt back? But you look at the way it ended, it ended on a sound note. But they're back talking friends again yeah, and yeah. Fergie. He's been back over yeah. for the friendlies. But if we could find another Ruud van Nistelrooy now, our problems would be answered. We'd be league champions because Ruud van Nistelrooy was so good in that six-yard, ten-yard area. 
great finisher. He had everything like you said, so power, pace, you couldn't yeah, get the ball off him. Strong lad. Yeah. And I'm just gutted that he never stayed longer, but we did see yeah. well, 150 goals in 219 appearances, it says it all for me. Yeah, like, like we say, Rude Van Nistel Roy, in my opinion, one of the three top strikers ever to be here at Old Trafford. Yeah, definitely Tony, you know, he's up there Fantastic. with the best. What do you think it would have been like for the defender to have played against Ruud van Nistelrooy when he was in his prime at Manchester United? Yes, and he, he, he was terrific, wasn't he, Ruud? I mean, what a goal scorer. Um, you know, and he could do the other side of the game as well. He, could, he, he, he was quite strong in holding the ball up and bringing other people in as well. I mean, yeah, I mean, we've seen so many great centre forwards over the, year, over the years, but listen, he was one of the very best. Up there with Premiership legends, you know, you look at Shearers and all that, and he's up there for me with them. And like you're saying, if he would have stayed here another three or four years, who's saying that Ruud van Nistel won't be the top Premiership scorer? You know? Well, it would have been. He would have been. He was it a great would, player. Been, An absolute winger's dream, you know. I spoke to Ryan about him and he said, unbelievable, Webber. we just put it there. We knew he was getting it. We knew where to put it. He'd be around that six-yard box, Predator. Yeah. We'd put it there nine times out of ten and score. Shame Ruud. it ended the way it did. It did. But we watched him. Yes. We had the pleasure of watching him. Fantastic player. World-class striker.